And Prime Minister Abe Shinzo lifted a state of emergency imposed due to the coronavirus for the majority of the country, but kept it in place for top cities like Tokyo and Osaka. Tyra Liu joins us live from Japan. Hello, Tyra. I'm sorry, Ty. This is Dennis. This is Dennis. Hello. Okay. Hello, Dennis. <laughs> good to see you. Yes, good All right. To all our televiewers, here are the updates, Alma. Okay. Japan lifts virus state of emergency in most regions. Japan's Prime Minister on, th on Thursday lifted for most of the country a, a state of emergency imposed to tackle the coronavirus but kept in place for Tokyo and Osaka. 39 of the country's 47 prefectures has its lockdown lifted as the spread of the novel coronavirus in these areas has been kept in check, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said Thursday. Urban regions such as Tokyo and Osaka, however, will remain under the state of emergency to ensure newly reported cases continue to fall and the burden on hospital eases. Economic Revitalization Minister Yasutoshi Nishimura said the total number of reported cases has been Falling in the 39 prefectures, he also said they have sufficient capacity to provide medical care. The 39 prefectures include five, Ibaraki, Ichikawa, Gifu, Aichi, and Fukuoka, that were classified as requiring special caution due to their large number of coronavirus cases. Those that will remain under the state of emergency are Hokkaido, the Tokyo metropolitan area also encompassing Chiba, Kanagawa, and Saitama, as well as Kyoto, Osaka, and Hyogo. The state of emergency will be reassessed around May 21st. The declaration may be lifted in areas where the outbreak is subsiding or reimposed if there are signs of cases rising again. Meanwhile, Japan will create a framework to inject capital into large and mid-sized companies is struggling amid the coronavirus pandemic. A panel of ruling party lawmakers began a series of meetings on Wednesday to work out the details and discuss other ideas to forestall bankruptcies. Japan is on the cusp of a deep recession as the pandemic has forced households to stay home and businesses to shut down. Yoichi Miyazawa, chairman of the panel, said last month that the government and central bank may need to set up a special purpose vehicle to inject capital into companies hit by the pandemic. Under the scheme, state-affiliated lenders will invest in ailing companies by offering subordinated loans or accepting preferred shares. Investment by the government will help companies strengthen their financial standing which would allow them to borrow money from banks more easily and avoid downgrades to their credit ratings. Big companies in key industries, including auto giants like Toyota Motor Corporation, have suffered slumping profits. The government has said it will use all available tools to help Japan's car and auto parts makers hit by supply chain disruptions. The Bank of Japan also plans to hold an emergency policy meeting as early as this month to set up a reward plan for financial institutions that boost lending to small firms hurt by the coronavirus. This is the latest for now. Back to you, Alma. Thank you, Dennis, for your updates. We'll see you back tomorrow for more. Thank you very much for your time. <coughs> Reporting from Tokyo Japan Live, this is Dennis Liu. We live in interesting times.